Hi, I'm Vicki Hawk, and I'd like to show you how to use your Pro Stitcher, your HQ Pro Stitcher, with your HQ16 machine to do panographs from the front of the machine without the paper and without the laser light. Usually, to do a panograph, you're in the back of the machine, you have a laser light that points to the pattern, you have your paper pattern, and you apply it to the table with tape, and then you follow this along. Well, we're gonna to go to the front of the machine and let the Pro Stitcher help us. Another thing with use, doing it the, this way from the front of the machine is you build up that muscle memory so that when you wanna do freehand quilting, you've got that muscle memory and you're feeling more comfortable using your handles on your machine. The first thing you want to do is turn your levers over and put it down so that the crosshairs on the machine or on the on the screen will be activated and then it will be able to read the design that you have on your screen. I chose the design in the library uh, menu and I repeated it across the quilt and I positioned it so that as I move my crosshairs, you can see they're active, as I move my crosshairs to the top left corner of the quilt, it's also in the top left corner of the design. So it's ready, positioned, ready to quilt, and you can see where it's going to quilt as I move the crosshairs. But this is kind of small, so I want to enlarge this and I want to be able to follow it along. So I'm going to press follow, and it, press, it put places the crosshairs in the center of my screen with the design underneath it. So I can follow that along where it is in relationship to the quilt. I can zoom in on that a little bit so that it's large enough so that I can see it. Now I need to have handlebar control. So with the HQ16 to have handlebar control, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn off the machine and then turn it back on. And now the Pro Stitcher is no longer talking to the HQ16. So I now have handlebar control. So if I press my needle down, you can tell that you have handlebar control. Now, I'm going to just start right here. I can do my tie off with my handlebars. And I've set my stitch length at 10. And now following the crosshairs along the design with the follow on, I can stitch this on the front of the machine rather than going to the back. My motors are enabled, so the crosshairs are active. And if I don't get right dead on, it's no different than if I was doing a paper pattern with a laser on the back. Now when you have to stop, stop at a point, and it's easier to start at a point. So as I start off here, I'm gonna start. And remember, this pattern does not go home with the quilt. So if it's not right, on the line, it won't matter. Usually when we do edge-to-edge -edge quilting, it's on a busy print, so you're not gonna see. If you've gone off a little bit, stabilize your elbows to your side, and it gives you more stability as you're stitching around here. You'll feel a little resistance with this because the motors are enabled on the carriage of the machine. I hope you enjoy using your Pro Stitcher for pantographs for the front of the machine. Happy quilting.